Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today we are doing the November update for my 2022 project pan. So if this is your first time here, I will link the playlist up in the eye and you can click on that to go watch it from the beginning because we are now basically, this will be the third last video. Um, so there'll be an update at the start of December and then a finale at the end of December. Very, very exciting onto the absolute home stretch. If you are up to date, then let's get on into the products. I have got a really, really exciting one in this update and I'm just gonna do it first because I'm gonna give you the really good stuff up first because I can't contain myself anymore about it. <sighs> Guys. Guys, I have finished this blush. I absolutely cannot believe it. How many updates have I been saying? Like, I feel like it'll just like, I'll hit a point and then it'll just start to go really quickly because you know, that's what happened with all these and I kept saying it and I knew I believed it, but it sort of didn't seem to be happening. And then this month it just happened. I'd hit that last stretch and the end of it just disappeared, so. That is it, it is completely empty, it is done. I have now used four out of the six products within this palette, which I know for people who do like pan that palette and whatever, that's probably not that exciting, but this is like the emptiest looking palette of everything that I own. So I am so, so pleased, so proud, so happy. Definitely next year we'll be going for product number five. I don't know whether it's gonna be the bronzer or the other blush, but there definitely will be an aim to start working, even if I can't finish another one next year, to start working on it. But for now, I am so pleased to have done that one and I'm actually just looking forward to putting this palette away for a little bit, using some of my other stuff, particularly because I've got a blush in my 12 Pans of Christmas project pan that will be coming at you in December. So it'll be nice to be able to just concentrate on trying to use that within that project and also just to, to use some of the blushes that I have been avoiding this year whilst I've been concentrating on this one. Now it feels quite worth it when I'm looking at this palette and it's just so satisfying. I am so, so pleased. So that's the most exciting update. Let's just get that one out of the way, give you the good stuff up front. So, so pleased about this. <laughs> Slightly less exciting, my Shantikai highlight. I keep using it and I'm really enjoying using it so I'm not like bothered about it, but it just looks the same as ever. I do kind of fancy that there's a bit of a dip coming here, but I don't know if I'm just kind of deluding myself with that at this point. Either way, I'm getting loads of use out of it, really enjoying it. As I always say, when I first put this in the project, I had this beautiful bird embossing on it and my goal was just basically to use that embossing which I have more than done so anything that happens at this point is a bonus. We'll see, we'll see if we get a sliver of pan before the end of the year. I'm not sure that I'm feeling that confident that we will but I am really enjoying using it so I'm not bothered. <laughs> To my foundation so I actually get quite a big jump this month in comparison to it like if you look at how consistently small the jumps have been for the rest of the time I feel like last month to this month there has been a bit of a jump now there was just a couple of things on this month maybe I was wearing foundation a little bit more than usual but I also think like this you know um comes into sort of you can maybe see better here you know it doesn't go straight all the way down 
Um, so you can see at the top it's super wide and then it gets, you know, progressively smaller. So I don't actually know if it's that I've definitely used all that much more foundation this month or if it's just that we're really starting to see that the bottle is, you know, coming in and it's a smaller pool to take from. So it's maybe going to look like it's going down more quickly than when it took, you know, you had to empty the kind of full width of it to get it to go down its top. It's now maybe going to go down a little bit quicker. I don't know, I don't want to get too excited given, you know, how little of this that you use, how long this is actually, like, when I put this in this project, I thought I would be done with this product within, like, by June. You know, like, the first half of the year I thought I would finish this up. That has so not been the case. This spread so far, you need so little. It is what it is, so I don't want to get too excited about that jump, but I'm very pleased with it. it it's satisfying after how slowly everything else has been moving all year to see a bit of a jump this month but we'll see what happens next month I'm definitely not going to finish this bottle by the end of December of course but yeah it would be nice to see another jump like that in the next by the next update and then by the finale that would be really really pleasing <laughs> that has moved a tiny little bit is my Guerlain lipstick. So this is the standard lipstick formula, the shade number three. It's actually what I've got on uh, today. So I really like this lipstick. I'm not in any rush to finish it. My original goal, similar to the highlight, was that I had the Guerlain embossing on this when we first put it in and I wanted to use it down so that I had worn off the embossing. Well, I think actually I just wanted to use into the embossing at first and then I cleared it off. And yeah, I've, I've basically, I've hit the goal that I planned to, but I'm just gonna keep using it, keep measuring it. I feel like I use it quite often, but it really didn't come down very much at all, but it came down more than it would have if I hadn't put it in the project. And I really, really like the color, but I'm just, I am glad to get my use of it, you know, before it goes off or anything like that, so. Really glad it's still in the project and we'll keep it in the project to the end and see where we end up with it. Something I do expect to finish within the project is my MAC concealer. This again, in fairness, has lasted far longer than I thought. This project was originally themed around a holiday that Lauren and I were meant to be going on what would have been next month but which has been cancelled to Disney World. So I think I actually had this project in as my Fast Pass product that I was expecting to finish within the first like three months of the project but it is November and here we are still with product. But considerably less product than there has ever been before. So, although you could say that about every update, I suppose, but you know what I'm saying. Down to the absolute last sliver. Kind of think I could finish this by the next update, but if I don't manage it by the next update, it will so definitely be out for the finale. I really enjoy this concealer. I've actually got another one, so I won't be without it, which I'm very pleased about. I do like using it, um, but I am excited to get another empty into my goal of using 300 products up this year. Fingers crossed. that 
definitely won't be in my empties but I'm very glad I rolled into this project. Uh, just a few months ago is my bottle of Chanel number no. 5 and this is where we are. So we started, it was completely full, it was up here. Last update it was here and this update we've taken it down to here. Really really pleased, I did have other perfumes in my 13 by Halloween project pan. That has now finished so I will link the playlist for that up in the eye and on the end card if you want to go watch that in full just to see how things went. But I did have other perfumes in that so I was concentrating on them, um, you know, particularly between the introduction of this and the first update. But in the last update they've all pretty much finished. This has been my main one that I've been using in work. Quite a nice big jump. My aim was really just to see if I could make sure that this was within the label by the end of this year, which it now is. So I'm really, really pleased with that. But I'm going to keep it in and just see what progress more we can make by the finale. <laughs> And then the other perfume product, and actually the last product that is left at this point. So yeah, you really can't, like, it's funny when you're doing the updates month by month, it can feel like so slowly and you know, you feel like you're not making a lot of progress. And then like when I am in November now versus where I was when I started this project in January, completely different. Um, so I've only got one more product left and it is my Mon Guerlain Shower Gel. And this is where we are with this. And the bonus product there is my Mon Guerlain body lotion, which is a way down to here. So I do think I'll definitely finish this by the end of the year. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this at this point because I am trying to use the Chanel number no. five now. So I don't really like using these unless I'm using uh, either the corresponding perfume, which I do have. I finished a bottle of Mon Guerlain um, near the start of this project that I was using in conjunction with this one. And that left me with a 100 ml bottle. So I knew I wasn't going to finish that within the year or anything like that, so I've still got that that I'm using with this. But a combination that somebody, I think it was on Reddit actually, or maybe Instagram, somebody recommended the combination of Mon Guerlain with Margiela's By The Fireplace, which is like one of my favourite smells ever. Love it, but particularly this time of year, it's just so mouth-wateringly good. So I have been using, when I've been using these, I've actually been using By The Fireplace with them. But my main focus is still on using that Chanel number no. 5. So I don't know if I'm going to finish the shower gel, but I definitely will finish the body lotion. You know, hopefully we'll make another little dent between next month and the finale. So more than I would have used had I not put this in this project this year. And as much as I can't believe it, that is us at the end of the video because I've used up so much stuff in this project already. So that absolutely flew by. I hope it flew by for you as well and that you enjoyed it. As I said, my 13 by Halloween project pan is now finished so I will link the playlist for that up on the end screen. Do make sure you've hit the subscribe button if you like project pan content. My 12 pans of Christmas project pan will be coming at you every Sunday in December. There'll be a project pan video plus also the December update for this project pan and the finale. So lots more project pan content coming your way in December which is nearly upon us let's be honest terrifyingly but thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one bye